Well, it's been ten years and a thousand tears And look at the mess I'm in A broken nose and a broken heart An empty bottle of gin Well, I sit and I pray In my broken down Chevrolet While I'm singing to myself there's got to be another way Take away, take away Take away this ball and chain I'm lonely and I'm tired And I can't take any more pain Take away, take away Never to return again Take away, take away Take away, take away this ball and chain. This is the guitar lesson for Social D's Ball and Chain from GuitarMadeEasy.com. First thing you want to do guys is make sure that your guitar's tuned a half step down so your E should sound like this. Also, you guys asked for it and you got it. Here is a tab. I tabbed this song out by ear. There is uh, all the lead stuff in there for the solos. Um, it's, it's actually great. There's a bunch of really cool lead stuff in here, especially if you're a beginner guitarist to take a look at. So to get the tab, check out the description below. All right, I think it's that time to begin. So this song is insanely easy. You only have to know three chords, your D, your A, your G, and that's it. In fact, the entire pro chord progression for the entire song is D, A, G, D, D, A, G, D, over and over and over again. Now, the only part that varies away from that is in the chorus, at the end of the chorus, there's a long pause. Now, if you were to hear that part from the chorus on, it would sound like this. Take away this ball and chain. Okay, time for the strumming pattern. The strumming pattern for the entire song is this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Switch chords. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Over and over and over again. That always stays the same aside from the two down strums on G. When it pauses. And that's it. Now let's talk about some fun stuff, some lead. The lead part of this song is really cool, especially in the intro. Um, it's basically the same. He plays the lead. Uh, there's like three lead parts in the song. There's a solo in the intro, solo in the middle, and then at the end, there's kind of a little uh, finishing riff. I'm going to show you all three of those parts. So the first solo goes like this. I'm going to play through it very slowly for you. So let's break that apart a little bit and we'll walk through each bit and piece of that solo. The first part goes like this. So seventh on the D, fifth on the D, seventh on the A, fifth on the A. That's the little intro right there. Then we go. So start on the fifth, fifth fret on the A string, and then we do a hammer-on onto the 7th, and then we slide to the ninth, 
and then we hit the ninth one more time, do a pull off to the seventh, and then two down plucks on the A string on the seventh fret, then one more, and then the fifth fret, seventh on the E string, fifth fret on the A, seventh on the E string, and then we do a hammer on pull off on the fifth fret on the A string to the seventh, then we pull off back to the fifth. So we go. That's the first part. Should sound like this. Okay? The next part goes like this. Fifth, fifth on the A string, pull off to the fifth from the seventh fret to the fifth fret on the A string. Then we're going to slide from the seventh to the ninth fret on the A string. Now, two times on the seventh fret on the D string then a hammer on to the ninth fret on the D string, back to the seventh fret. Now three more times. Now we do a hammer on to the ninth, now the seventh fret on the G string. Once again, a seventh fret on the D string, hammer on to the ninth, and then we're going to pluck the seventh fret on the G string, so we have, and now we're going to pluck the seventh fret on the G string, and we're gonna do a hammer on pull off, from the seventh fret on the G string to the ninth fret back to the seventh. So that part sounds like this. Okay, the next part I'm going to show you is twice on the seventh on the G string. Then we do a pull off from the ninth fret to the seventh fret. Now we're going to slide from the 9th to the 11th fret. Now we're going to use our middle finger and pluck the 10th fret on the B string. Now twice on the 11th fret on the G string. And now do a pull off to the 9th fret on the, I'm sorry, that's a slide from the 9th fret to the, now, I'm sorry, that's a slide from the 11th fret to the 9th fret. Now we're going to go twice on the 9th fret on the G string, then slide back to the 11th fret, and then 10th fret on the B string, and now we're going to go, basically I'm barring my pointer finger across the 10th fret, and I want to put my ring finger on the 12th fret on the B string, and I'm just going to have it on there, then take it off, have it on, take it off, so. See that right there? So I basically just took this finger, I had it on right now, then take it off. Okay, so that part sounds like this. And now the last part of the solo I'm going to show you, it goes 7th fret on the G string, do a hammer on to the 9th fret, and then do a slide to the 11th fret, this is on the G string, 10th fret on the B string, 11th fret twice on the G string, and then slide down to the 9th fret, and then we do the 9th a bunch of times, so we go, and then I go 9, 7, 7, 7, 9th on the D string, then hammer on pull off on the G string from the 7th to the 9th fret. That last part sounds like this. And that is the whole first solo. Good job if you got through that. Bear with me once again. If you have any questions, I've tabbed this whole thing out. So check the description below for the tab and uh, we'll get you squared away. So now the second part, there's a second lead part at about 340. He plays through the intro again, uh, the intro lead part, but then the ending is a little bit different on this second lead part. What he does there is he goes, so this part is played like twice in the second solo. Now at the very end of the song, he does a little improv improvisation with that same little lick. He really likes this lick for that song. So once again, bar our pointer finger over the 10th fret on the B and the E string, 
and we're going to be moving our ring finger on and off the strings at the 12th fret on the B string. So he goes. So kind of mess around with the rhythm of it to get the rhythm right. And all he's doing is this lick right here. After he messes around with that, he basically does a unison bend, which he still has his pointer finger barred at the B string on uh, the B and the E string on the 10th fret. He's now bending with his uh, ring finger on the G string at the 12th fret. He's going over and over again. He's plucking the G string and the B string, and he's bending the G string up a full step. Hear that? It sounds better with distortion. So he's doing that over and over again, and then he up plucks the note that on the 10th fret on the B string, so he strums through both strings, and then up plucks just that one string. Hear that? So the song now comes to a close, and it finishes on a unison bend, and then he uses his pinky, puts it on the 13th fret, and then bends the 12th fret and releases it back down, and then plucks the 10th fret and slides all the way down and then strums a D. So I hope that wasn't too complicated for you, uh, telling you each and every note that I went through in that solo. But once again, check out the tab and you guys will be just fine. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also keep sending me with those requests. Download my top secret guitar tips from mysecretguitartips.com. And also be sure to join my Patreon team. I hope you liked it and I will see you on the next guitar lesson. Thanks for watching.